Good morning, everybody. Heading to the gym. I wanted to talk to you today. Well, yesterday I spoke on kind of like the signs and symptoms uh, that show you how the narcissist is, uh, has, you're dealing with demons, right? And all the stuff that comes along with it. But, you know, I also throw up this scenario where is it possible that they're not even humanity at all? Human, I mean, not even us. Almost like, uh, and I'm not saying they've even been snatched, like as far as a, a demon body snatching them. But for instance, could they be born right beside us and be uh, maybe condemned fallen angels that are born uh, in human form as part of their damnation so they are forced to in in a sense reincarnate over and over and then die the human death over and over until their final judgment and damnation to, to have to deal with this because now I understand reincarnation is not something that's in the biblical narrative for humanity but it doesn't mean that that scenario couldn't have been placed on the fallen ones until their damnation because we don't know what what God has put in place for them to deal with as their penalty but what makes me say that is, is because when you're dealing with the narcissist, it's almost as if it's not even just a demon, but it's it's beyond that. You know, because it does talk about that, you know, they are beyond getting deliverance and there's no, no story or uh, any kind of um, history in the narrative of these people getting any kind of help, but they just continually get worse. And uh, I bring this up partially because it happens at such a young age. I've talked to people that have adopted children at the ages of two and three years old. And that it was already seemed like it was full on presenting itself. And then, you know, later as it just culminated into more of uh, what we see as adults with no way of like, uh, you know, avoiding it during those years, you know, no matter what, how the parents treated them or pursued getting help for them, you know, so that they didn't end up like this because they had already been told by some, you know, therapists while the child was young, that this is what they were dealing with an undiagnosed form of it that will continue to culminate into it. And it did. And so I, that's why partially I bring it up and, and you know, the other reason why I would bring it up is because when you deal with these individuals and you, and you have fully awoken to it, you kind of get, I mean, my, my instincts tell me and my intuition tells me that not that it's almost as if they're not it's not that they could be yes possessed but almost as if that they're not humanity at all okay like it's it's um Instinctively, I get that feeling, and I'm not the only one. People have talked about this on this platform. A lot of people have done um, have done podcasts on this on this exact topic that they're 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 just not us, and 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 beyond a demon possession type thing, but that they're just innately not us. And so I bring that up because I I have felt many times that not only was this thing soulless or this individual soulless but and hollow, but the way they would act and operate is to 
and evil extent beyond even what I would perceive as, as a demon. And that it's so much of them that you can't separate the two. Humanity from the controlling force. And just because it happened so early in life, it just makes me wonder. I mean, it could be possible that God has placed them into a... Because uh, we don't hear much about fallen angels. Okay, we know demons are the disembodied spirits of the giants from Genesis 6, the hybrids, right? And they were an abomination, right? That's where the d disembodied spirits from the giants, from the, the fallen angels that had sex with the human women in Genesis 6. That's why God flooded the earth out. And then they were once in flesh, so they want to be in flesh again. But when it comes to fallen angels, fallen angels are their fathers, you know, the fathers of the demons, basically. And the mothers of the demons were the uh, the daughters of men, which were here on the earth. Just humanity. And so that's why they're hybrids. They were half and half. And what, what uh, I'm saying is, is anytime you hear about fallen angels in the Bible, it would talk about them being in high places and being on thrones and places of control, but it it only talks about them a couple of times in the Bible, like in Jude and I think in Peter, where it talks about how they were locked in chains, but those, the modern day church will tell you that was where the fallen angels are locked in chains until the time of judgment. That's not true. That the ones that were locked in chains until the time of judgment were the, the watchers. That was always gets back to the days of Noah. In, in all those scriptures where it talks about that. So where are the other third of the fallen angels? You know, high and lofty places uh, could just mean that they're humans in physical form and in high ranking places of control, like the Fortune 500 companies that look like us but are not us, you know? And so I, I often wonder, I never did before, but after dealing with narcissism to the level that I have and waking up to it and seeing these faces and stuff, uh, these faces were, um, I mean, you know, the golden eyes, uh, the mask came off, right? I talked about, but the mask is, you know, what it says, it says Satan masquerades, right? He wears a mask, so he masquerades as an angel of light. But also, I mean, if he masquerades and he's a fallen angel, then what else could masquerade as an angel of light? A, a, a fallen angel, another fallen angel. He's just a fallen angel, y'all. So if, if he's a fallen angel and he can masquerade and wear a mask, then they can too. But it doesn't say that the demons would masquerade, right? And so this thing that I, I unmasked had that the mask from Scream. Okay. And and that that actually is a uh, portrayal uh, that, that Scream mask, it's even called Scream. It's it's an art, a famous art uh, picture from the, in the 1800s. And you can look it up, but so you know when it's in history like that in art and everything, that there's, that symbolism is the, is them telling the truth that it really exists. And I'm telling you, it looked just like that mask. And my suggestion is, is, you know, what is what do they do on Halloween? They would always wear a mask. Don't ever put a mask on because you're asking something to enter you and you're opening doorways, in my opinion. Anyway, that's it for today. But if a fallen angel like Satan could masquerade as an angel of light, so can the other fallen angels. And I'm not saying that, that demons can't too, but what... I'm telling you is, is, is this kind of seems to line up and don't get to where you think I'm new age by suggesting that, you know, they can be reincarnated. This is totally beyond humanity. And it, and if this, this, uh, scenario does exist, for instance, in other types of religion, does it mean that it could 
it could be just sidetracking you that it, it does exist, not for us, but maybe for the fallen ones. Anyway, hope you can give me a like, subscription, and a thumbs up. I love y'all. Peace. And until next time, we out.